All right, here we go. Hi guys, welcome to Nantum Tech. My name is Ricky. Today we're going to be testing gaming on Linux, and more specifically, we're going to be testing Bazide. And I'm going to showcase it on the lowest end system that I have right now, which is the Dell Optiplex 7040. This is the same system that I tested Fortnite a few months ago with the 750. I instead switched it over to an RX 5 550 four gigabyte model, so that way we could run it on Linux, and with this, I want to show you guys how much Linux gaming has improved in recent years. More specifically, we're going to be testing Bazide uh, as the Linux distro that I'm going to be using, which is this really cool version of Linux that has uh, the Steam Deck OS layered on top. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the system specs. Very good. And now that we're on, uh, we're inside. Uh, once you're in, you can control the whole system with a controller. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull up system settings, um, the system specs first. Very good. So uh, we're running the game on Bezide 42, which is actually modeled on Fedora now that I see it. We're running the stable version 42.0522. And the system that we're running is the it's uh, my Dell Optiplex with an Intel Core i5-6500. This is a, a CPU with four cores and four threads from the quad-core dark ages of, of Intel with a base clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz and I'm pairing it with uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM running on dual channel um, this is a pair of CL16 RAM but um, it's running at stock speeds in office PCs you can't really change the frequency I'm running it with a Radeon RX 550 this is a 4 gigabyte model of the card this is the Biostar model of the card but the system is recognized as an RX 560 I'm guessing it was it's probably because of the BIOS version. If you're curious as to what's going to happen to a lot of these old systems when Windows stops supporting them, which is going to happen in a few months, I will do my best to keep you guys updated as far as what you can expect if you're gaming on a system like this. And uh, I tried installing the, the Steam OS on this one using the Steam Recovery image, and I wasn't able to get it running, but Bazide was nice and stable, uh, and I can't recommend it enough. So when you're here, if you press on the con you can either press on the, the the Xbox controller that brings up the menu and you go to the power settings and you can switch to desktop here at desktop area now the interesting thing about Bazide is that the it appears like the security settings are all set up for you to use the Steam Deck side because when I try to do partition I wouldn't try to partition the hard drive or install software over here it wouldn't let me because it was telling me that I needed to have that I needed to input the password and it wasn't, and it wasn't even going on this side it helps you go into the regular Steam Deck settings and sometimes you might have issues getting the system to download some games so when you come over here to the, to the main desktop area this gives you more information so unfortunately in Bazide you won't, you're not going to be able to run Fortnite they haven't created a version for Linux yet and I honestly think, think that Epic is wasting the potential of Linux with their game especially now that they're trying to put Fortnite on everything, I really think they should consider putting Fortnite on Linux so that way you can run it on the Steam Deck. Uh, by association, be able to run it on uh, other systems like this. So let's go ahead and test gaming. I have a couple of games that I could try out right now, and uh, then we'll go ahead and try to see if we can run Fortnite on Linux. But the only way that I can think of is by using the cloud gaming and just see how that runs. But overall, I think if, if you want to play Fortnite, on a system like this, I don't recommend you to install Linux. Just stick to Windows. The experience is not great, but I'll show you guys later. Zero. All right, and we're gonna get started with Cyberpunk. Once you get Bazaar running, everything is nice and stable. All right, so let's start off with Cyberpunk. I'm just gonna do a quick run. This isn't actually gonna be a benchmark run. Uh, I just want to show you guys how gaming on Linux works, especially on a low-end system, on a low-end system like this. So. In my opinion, this is a great way for you to get yourself into PC building because you can build something like this for not a lot of money. All right, very good. Let's get started. Everyone feels great. I'm going to switch it over to the Steam Deck settings, which turns Fidelity FX to balance and crowd density to low. Motion blur. Let's disable motion blur because I'm not crazy about it. Put some of the settings in medium, some of the settings in high. Combination. You can check out the settings right here. See what this does. All right. Let's change the map because we're not going to go see our. Just going to take a drive around Night City. No, we're not tracking that job either. 
just started playing this. This opens up the door to what is considered playable. I'm running at 30 FPS, but with controller, it works perfectly fine. I'm having a good time. It's not bad. See if we can go to a more intensive area. See how much it drops when you bigger crowds and crowd density set to low. But I, I still think they made a pretty good job. And I'm very impressed with what, what Red Team has managed to do with Cyberpunk. This is a AAA game and we're running it in an RX 550. Of course, if you guys want to see a comparison with Cyberpunk between Linux and running it on Windows, I'll have a benchmark for that pretty soon with the same system. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that too. If you guys want to check that out, consider subscribing. All right. Going into a little bit more of a crowd area, more crowded area. Oh, sorry about that. All right, 26, 27, 25. Uh oh, sorry about that. Run away. Sorry about that. Oh boy. I just started playing the game, so I'm not sure if the parts of the city are blocked off like how Grand Theft Auto used to do. 25, 24. So it's basically a console experience. So just perfect for a controller. I think it feels great. But. We're not going to get anywhere close to 30, 60 FPS with, with something like this. Alright, I think it should be enough of, of uh, Cyberpunk. Let's go ahead and switch to something else. Let's switch over to the finals. Every YouTuber out there is going to recommend you not to use a 4 gigabyte card. And I probably would too, but it even, even if the game is going to tell you not to do this. But you know what? I'm going to let a game tell me what to do. Are you kidding? Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's see how we do with the finals. Yes, I do want to keep going. That's fine. Let's go. Oh, do I have to click on it? Oh, come on, Bazai. What's up with that? Alright, so we're here in the finals. Let's go ahead and play a quick cache. Uh, I tried that new mode, Heavy Hitters, that they have. Not a fan. <laughs> I thought it was boring. Hmm? I like the fact that the finals just keeps... They keep bringing new, new things to the game. Trying to keep it fresh. Trying to keep it interesting. Hopefully they make it. I enjoy the game. I test it all the time. For me. I don't recommend it to anybody who wants a good free-to-play game. The advertising and the microtransactions can get a little annoying. Very good. So we're here in the match. And we're going to set up the run. Alright, so we're going to set up the run with Balance FSR 3 on the low uh, preset. Let's be honest, you're not really going to be able to do much more than low on, on a system like this. Was he getting more before that? Eight thirty-nine. But I think we're getting a little more with TSR. I think maybe no up scan. All right, very good. So we're running the game on the low preset. We're running the the game on FS and FSR three on performance mode on the low preset. You kind of have to do whatever you can to get to give the, this the system a fighting chance. All right, let's go. Forty-four, forty-five. Why is everybody running away? Oh, no, let go. Alright, let's go. Nice thing about these cards that don't, don't require additional power is that even though it's running at 100%, it's still the sitting at 66 degrees. Uh, in spite of the fact that these things are not great when it comes to airflow. Oh. Well, not great, but safe to say that it's not the system's fault. All right, very good. So that was the finals. Let's try something a little less intensive. As you do near your mouse from time to time. Again, sticking to the console light experience. We're running the high settings on 36. This is the kind of game that you could potentially, where you want to keep the settings as high as possible. Go ahead and switch over to the medium preset. 42. And I think we're about to go talk to somebody who's going to take us without, who's going to bring us over to use a horse. So let's see. Oh, rock stars. They're floating icons. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. All right. 46. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high-polluting big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city, more of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Woo no. All right, and last but not least, let's switch over to Marble Rivals. Ooh, 
I don't think this is in like mine. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do very good in Marble Rivals. All right. So we're gonna set up the system on the lowest settings possible because we're gonna give it the biggest chance. We're gonna do so. We're gonna run FSR three on performance under the low preset, and let's try to see if we can get at least thirty FPS. You'll have to keep fighting until we have a winner. I'm a good guy who occasionally takes stuff that doesn't belong to him. Okay. Oh no no no! This not doing very good. Thirty-two and not just thirty-two, but it's super stuttery. Fortunately, Marble Rivals is not going to be an option for this. Man, this is making me dizzy. Sorry, guys. If you guys want to play Marble Rivals, that's not going to be an option in the system. 30, 33. Well, that was terrible. Sadly, this system is not going to be very good for Marble Rivals. Absolutely stutter. Stutter, crazy stutter. I don't know why Marble Rivals, with the art style that it has, why is not more optimized. Very good. Now. If you have to play Fortnite, maybe you have a crazy friend like me who wants to get you into the game or something like that, and you're using Bazite, your best bet would be go to Chromium, because otherwise uh, Firefox doesn't recognize the, the controller and doesn't work with the keyboard. And the nice thing is that you don't actually have to sign up for anything on, on Xbox Game Pass. I use the, the base uh, cloud, uh, Xbox Game Pass account just so I can run Oblivion, because I'm, I'm playing that game at the moment. Uh, but you don't need to have an active account for to to run uh, Fortnite. Just click on the screen. The system will pick it up. The resolution is going to look a little weird because I don't know how it is they run the game on their servers. Uh, but you can tell that it's designed for mobile because everything just looks a little stretched out. It looks a little off. But for the most part, it's pretty responsive. And I think we can go into a reload match just so you guys can see how fast it can be. Now, mind you, this is running out of Ethernet, but I haven't done anything to Bassite. It comes exactly the way that it is. I haven't actually been able to figure out how to get the password that I need to use for the terminal. So, so if you're concerned about how Linux is usually known for having to do everything with the terminal, as of now, I've been using this party system for about three days now, and I haven't had to use the terminal once. And this is going to be the best that you're going to be able to do as, as far as Fortnite and Linux. I haven't tried GeForce Experience yet. You guys can tell me in the comments whether you guys think that's good or not. I don't like the fact that you have to wait as long. Yeah. Built in counters is 60 FPS. That's going to be about the best that you're going to be able to do. But like I was saying, if in terms of Fortnite, this system running Windows will do a much better job. The problem at the end of the day is going to be the frame rate and how slow this the input lag. It's going to be difficult for you to be competitive. So far, I've been playing the game like this and because you don't get any of the assistance from playing with controller it's been pretty much impossible for me to get a kill but it could be just me but I feel like I'm, I'm much more competitive when, when the game is running natively uh, on mouse and keyboard and uh, the controller doesn't see it at all so we can't rely on that overall the experience is pretty great Bazite is a really great way to get started because it gives you both a little bit of the best of both worlds. It gives you a little bit of uh, access to Linux. You won't really be able to do a lot of advanced Linux on Bazite because it appears like some of the security settings are set up inside of the Steam Deck layer that they have on top of the software. So I wasn't able to even install software on it, but that might have just been my experience. In any case, I hope you guys find this interesting or useful. If you guys want to get into PC gaming and Linux, it's definitely a, it's always worth a shot. And now nowadays, is even easier than ever. There's more games compatible than ever. That being said, if you absolutely want to play Fortnite, I don't recommend it. The experience in, in cloud gaming is not very good. Otherwise, I would just um, stick to using Windows 10 or following some of the bypasses that are available out there to be able to let Windows 11 run on unsupported hardware. If you're still running on something like this, or if you're going to start off your PC building uh, journey by using an Office PC, which is something that I recommend, that's what I would do. But hopefully you guys find this useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Bye.